Well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. Wasn't expecting to see you here. <sighs> Hello there. Oh, it's been quite a while. Ah, so you two are still hanging out together. Dia, didn't you say last time that you were gonna head back to the desert? <laughs> I said I was going to resign from being her bodyguard. Not that our friendship was over. We're still the best of friends. I told Dia to just stay at our place when she took one of those jobs a few days ago. My parents were delighted. They even said that it always felt like we were missing someone whenever Dia wasn't around. <laughs> that sounds like something they would say, all right. They're always so welcoming. You can stay for as many days as you want, Dia. Father hasn't even gotten around to treating you to his best dishes yet. <laughs> you know I'm not the kind of person to stay put in one place like that, my lady. Don't worry, though. There'll always be next time. <sighs> but, but wait! Didn't you say last time that you would take me on a trip to the desert? Why don't you just take me with you today, when you leave? There are so many places I still haven't visited yet. I'm sorry, my lady, but no can do. There are still a few things I need to take care of back at the Brigade. Besides, the desert hasn't exactly been the most peaceful place lately. Oh, come on. Not this again. That's also what you said last time and the time before that. I know, I'm sorry. Just give me some more time, and I promise I'll plan the best trip ever for you. All right, fine. To be perfectly honest, it's not that I wanted to go, it's more like... I feel like something is off about you lately. Ever since you first set foot on the estate a few days ago, you've been acting anxious and even paranoid. Have you been delaying our trip because you've run into some kind of trouble? N nah are you kidding? You're worrying too much. Would you swear on that? Friends shouldn't lie to each other, you know. I wouldn't pry any further if you're willing to swear on what you just said. But if something really is bothering you, then just tell me. You know I'll help you however I can. Mm. Oh, looks like Junior Zod was onto something. <sighs> you're too perceptive, my lady. Seems I can't hide anything from you. I just thought that nothing good could come out of telling you about the messy happenings of mercenaries. Knowing too much only leads to more trouble. Mercenary life is a dog-eat-dog -dog world where Mora reigns supreme. Everything operates on a completely different set of rules. That doesn't change anything about what I just said, though. We're still friends, and I can only support you if I understand what's bothering you. My lady... You're not gonna stop until you drag it out of me, are ya? No one in the Brigade was any kind of hero. Instead, my father and his cronies were more like the bad guys that needed to be taken down. Did they really think that as long as they didn't do any of that stuff right in front of me, I would never know? I think I can understand your feelings. The difference between perception and reality must have hit hard. Yeah, but... Don't worry, my lady. It's all water under the bridge to me now. I had a huge argument with my father and left that place behind for good. I'm not investigating them due to any bitter feelings I still have towards my father. I just want to protect those that are close to me. Yeah, I told the boys to gather as much information as they could. Most of the reports concern violent incidents, but there's also some talk of smuggling. I see. But isn't this investigation incredibly dangerous? It is, but every mercenary lives life on the edge. It's a lifestyle that I enjoy. That may be true, but it'll be impossible for those who care about you not to worry. Well, now you get why I didn't want to share any of this with you. What should we do? They both have valid concerns. Huh? But there's no need for you to get caught up in this mess, too. Well, he's super tough, so if he went into the desert with you, then Paimon bets the problem will be solved in no time. Hmm. I'm inclined to agree. I'd feel a lot more at ease if you took him along to help. I'll wait for news from you in the city until then. Please, stay safe. Hmm. I'm honored that you care so much for me, my lady. You're back! Are all of you all right?
Yeah. Many people from the Corps of Thirty came over, and I just wrapped up everything with my dad. All I can do now is wait for their verdict. Huh? Dia, you're looking quite down again. Paima will explain! A lot happened while we were gone. <sighs> I'm sorry. I really should have controlled my emotions better. I, I just... I just... It's all right, my lady. You were hurt by all of this as well. Truth be told, I'm starting to feel a little guilty watching you cry like this. <laughs> Medea, oh, your pain must be even worse. You shouldn't need to comfort me. Hey, don't worry about me. If anything, this whole thing has finally shown me the difference between illusion and reality. My father probably thought that people could settle into new lives as long as they moved to a new environment. That thought has even crossed my mind a few times. It's like saying, what's wrong with adapting to a new life? However, there was always something deep within my mind that refused to accept it. This impulse brought me great turmoil, and even made me feel ashamed for turning my back on your father's kindness. But now that I consider it again... It all makes sense. The desert sands are a part of who I am, and I will never be able to lead a peaceful existence. I understand how you feel. That doesn't mean I won't be making any changes to my life, though. As an example, I'm now thinking about taking on some small odd jobs. It's just like Idrisi said. I also want to catch up to my father and become a character in his play. Even if the ending of the story may be childish and ridiculous, it won't really matter. Isn't that neat, though? Oh, you'll be a whole new kind of mercenary, one that's not out for Mora. Why don't we go for a change of scenery once we finish eating? Uh, what about stopping by the Grand Bazaar again? Right. You said you wanted to get a rug for your family. We'll come along, too! <laughs> I can't thank you enough for taking care of me this entire time. <laughs>